Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. Now, Google recently announced that they're officially starting the migration from Google Hangouts to Google Chat. Now, at the moment, they will still allow users to opt out of it, but by the end of this year, everyone will have made that transition and Google will want everyone to just use Google Chat. So, this week, we decided to show you some of the key features of Google Chat. So, let's start by opening up Google Chat. We're going to navigate to the URL chat.google. Dot com. Now here at the top, I have that URL prepared and I'm going to open up Google Chat. Now this is the first time I'm opening up Google Chat with this account. So I get a welcome screen and it says, welcome to Google Chat. We can click on get started and we dive right into Google Chat. Here at the top, we will find our different chats and we can invite people to these chats. We can also create rooms and in these rooms, we can invite multiple people and we can even share some things in those chat rooms. I'll show you in a minute. Next, we can also talk about things live. That means we can connect this to Google Meet. Here you will see Meet. When I open up Meet, I can start a Google Meet from right inside my chat window. Let's look at the first part of Google Chat. At the top, we have chat rooms. When I click on the plus icon, I can start a chat and I can start it in different ways. I can start a group conversation, start a room. I can also browse rooms. These are all the rooms I've been invited to. I can find bots or I can have a message request. This is someone who wants to start a conversation with myself. Now I'm going to start a group conversation. So let's go ahead and click on that and let's type in one of our demo accounts. So I'm going to type in the SDC Teacher 2 account and invite this person to this group chat. We're going to click on this tick box and now we're starting a direct message with that person. You can see that person is away or hasn't joined this chat yet. History is turned on and I can start chatting. Hello, we are now using the Google chat. There we go. We have a number of additional features here. We can add different emojis. We can upload files. This is from our device. We can insert files from our Google Drive. So when you click on that, it opens up your Google Drive and then you can select the files you'd like to share. It's automatically going to adjust to sharing permissions for you. We can also add a video meeting. This is using Google Meet. Now, if you want to find out more about Google Meet, there will be a card that links out to the Google Meet video we've done. And we can also link this to our calendar. So we can schedule a calendar event. Everyone in this chat will be invited. In addition to this, when I hover over messages left by others, I can either leave an emoji to let them know I've seen it. I can also forward this to my inbox. If this is something we need to action later or we need to forward to someone who's not using Google Chat, this is perfect for that. I can also edit my own comments or I can reply to other comments and I can delete this message. Now let's create a room. Here on the left hand side, you'll see we have chat rooms and I'm going to create a new room. Let's go and create our room. Now rooms are different from just conversations because you can set up some rules within the room and you will notice that there is also a different interface for the room. So let's give this a demo room chat. That will be the name of this room. We can also add an icon for this room. Let's just use this little emoji here. And then we can start inviting people. Let's invite that same demo account. So we're going to invite the teacher to account. We can invite multiple people to this room and we can always invite more later on. And then we have two options we need to tick. These have to be set up as you're creating the room. So we can either use threaded replies. This is incredibly useful to keep track of conversations. So I'm going to tick this on and we can allow people from outside the organization to join. If you do not tick this box, then only people within your domain can join this chat room. I'm going to tick it so people from outside can join as well. And let's create. We now have our chat room created and you will see the interface looks very different. We can start a new thread. That means we can start talking about a single subject, but we can also add people and bots. We can share files and these will then show up in this tab here at the top where it says files, or we can assign tasks and this ties in with Google tasks. So let's start a thread. This is the welcome 
to our chat room. As soon as I send this off, you will see it has a nice little visual box around it and other people can join in with this chat. So let's open up a second account and see what that looks like. This is the second teacher demo account, the one that has been invited to a direct message as well as a room. So let's get started with this account. Now the first thing you'll see is at the top, I have an invite to this chat. I can see, hello, we are now using Google Chat. I will accept this message and then I can respond. I can either hover over this and leave an emoji or I can respond down below. I'm going to respond with a hi. This has been sent off into that group. I also see that there is a demo room. So let's open up this demo room. Welcome to our chat room. And because these are threaded chats, you can see that I can either start a new thread or I can respond to the previous one. So I'm going to say, hi everyone. And then I'm also going to start a new thread. This is a different topic. There we go. Going back to my first account, you will see that the response is there. There is one new message and this is a separate thread. So this is the main difference between Hangouts and Google Chat. You have your different threads, you can invite people to the room and you have full control over whether these people are from inside your domain or both inside and outside the domain. Now let's add a file and a task. So I'm going to now go to the top where it says files and I'm going to add a shared file. This will be a demo file. So let's just add a lorem ipsum random text document. There we go. And we're going to share this into this chat room. It asks me about the sharing permissions. Yeah, I want them to comment. Go ahead and send. This is now available to every member within this chat room. As you can see from the other account, they can open up that files and they will see that file right there. They have access to it they can start using it. They can also open up the tasks window and add a task for us to complete. So let's add a room task. Discuss the upcoming meeting. We're going to add a date and time. This needs to be done by the 30th. There we go. And we're going to assign the first teacher account to this. Let's add this to our room tasks. The first teacher will immediately receive a notification of this, created a task for this account, and this is the task. They can find it in that task tab and this will really help them to stay on top of everything they have to complete. Once they've completed this task, they can go to the left hand side and mark this as completed. It disappears from the chat room. This is an incredibly useful platform for collaboration and also to have small discussion groups. I hope you found this helpful. This was another tips and tricks with apps events and Acer. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.